Hi everyone and welcome to Ask My Tablet, the show where you send in the questions and I ask my tablet. Uh, if you have ALEXA, you may want to mute it now or use another device because it'll activate whenever I say her name. Uh, it shouldn't take the command, you know, what I say, it shouldn't answer that but and stuff, but it should, it will activate it. So, uh, everybody, I appreciate all the questions we've been getting. Uh, if you have any questions for Ask My Tablet, just leave as many as you'd like in the comments. So, let's get going. Here's one from Crystal's Pets and Plants. Alexa, do birds and squirrels get along? Here's something I found on the web. According to URL.org, bird feeders and squirrels just do not go together. Bird feeders and squirrels. Well, they will get to a bird feeder. I mean, they climb up this pole out here. Not very often. They did, you know, last summer, but not, not lately. But they will, will climb up the pole, and they hang off the pole and reach and grab the feeder and pull it towards them, and then they eat some. But I think they get along. I don't know if she would say anything different if I uh, phrase it any differently. I don't know how I could, but I watch them out there all the time, and they get along just fine. They don't, they'll be right beside each other on the ground, you know, eating and stuff. Don't pay much attention to each other at all. But they, they I, I don't think I've ever seen one, you know, try to fight with a bird or vice versa. Okay, here's a couple from California Karen. Uh, <laughs> Alexa, why is it when men go bald they still have facial hair? Here's something I found on the web. According to Medscape.com, male pattern baldness, also known as androgenic alopecia, is progressive scalp hair lost due to androgenic miniaturization of hair follicles. Well, that's just telling why they, or what it's called when they go bald. I don't, that's not really answering the question though. But I'd have noticed that. I mean, they'll have like a big old beard, but they'll be bald as a cue on top. I, I never have figured that out myself. But uh, it, hap it happens a lot. I mean, you wouldn't think so, but because that's pretty close to your head, right? I mean, your beard. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, how about this one? Alexa, who invented picture frames? Picture frames inventors are ancient Egypt and ancient Greece. Wow. So they had frames in ancient Egypt. You got a picture here. I don't know why it's turned sideways. Looks like it would be more like... Huh? I don't know. Huh. Let's see. Um, here's one from Kim. I think. Let me look up my glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Alexa, is there such a thing as brain freeze? Here's something I found on the web. According to mentalhealthdaily.com, brain freeze is an uncomfortable sensation that feels like the inside of your head or brain has frozen after consuming a cold beverage or food such as ice cream. Well, there's obviously such a thing as it. I've had it many times, and boy, all of a sudden you're like, yeah. <laughs> and here's another one uh, from California Karen. Alexa, who invented typing? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Christopher Latham Scholes, February 14, 1819, February 17, 1890, was an American inventor who invented the QWERTY keyboard, and along with Samuel W. Sole, Carlos Glidden, and John Pratt, has been contended as one of the inventors of the first typewriter in the United States. Did that answer your question? Yes, it did. Thanks for your feedback. You know, that, uh, 
I never have really figured out why, you know, you would think it would have been like in alphabetical order more than it is. Um, back in, in our day, I had to, we had to take typing. Wherever I was at at that time, you had to take typing. It was a required course. And to pass, I think you had to get, to, I think you had to get up to like 60 words a minute or something uh, before the class was, you know, done and everything to, to pass. Okay. Well, I made it, but I probably couldn't do it at all now. I don't know if I could even remember, you know, all that. Okay, here's one from, uh, several from Vicky G. Alexa, where is the headquarters of electronic company Panasonic located? I found in AAA Electronics and Vape Supply. It is 1.9 miles away on North Rhone Street in Johnson City. Vape? It is open until later today at 7 p.m. I don't need to go to a vape supply place. I was wanting to know where Panasonic was. Let's see, where is, let's say, where is the, uh, the, uh, main office, would you say? The headquarters? I did say, where is the headquarters? Alexa, where is the headquarters of Panasonic? Panasonic is headquartered in Kodoma, Japan. Kodoma, Japan, so, AAA vape something what electronics and vapes or <laughs> yeah they got these vape places all over the place I don't, I don't i don't understand it but whatever uh they're not good for you by the way the vape things mm. and here we go alexa who invented dynamite alfred nobel contributed to the invention of dynamite Oh, there he is, dynamite. Remember that, JJ. All right, Alexa, where was the first motor vehicle registration introduced? Here's something I found on the web, according to jcarchibald.com. The U.S. state of California first required its residents to register their motor vehicles in 1905. Wow. California. All right. Okay. What? Alexa, what year did the animated film Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs premiere? The film Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was released about 83 years ago on February 4th, 1938. Oh, I didn't know it was that far back. Can you imagine the animation for that, for back then? I mean, that was, it had to be so far ahead of its time, you know, because you just didn't, if you watch, uh, if you watch cartoons from around that time, they're just really like, I don't know, you know, primitive looking almost. They're just real, they, they don't look anything like, like this. So that's amazing. I thought it would be like in the 50s, 60s, something like that. So I learned something there. Okay, now we got some from Diana SFNG. What? Oh, okay. I need my glasses maybe. Alexa? How many registered doctors are there in the world? Here's something I found on reference.com. There are 10 to 15 million doctors in the world. The World Health Organization's estimates there is a shortage of 4.3 million physicians, nurses, and other health workers in the world. Wow, though. That's quite a few. Alexa, what is the first cold or flu medicine ever manufactured in the world here's something i found on the web according to musthavemum.com if you've got a child that loves chocolate then look out because the first ever chocolate flavored cough and cold medicine has hit the market and they've absolutely nailed the flavor that doesn't have nothing to do with hmm what 
Alexa, what brand was the first cold and flu medicine ever manufactured? Here's something I found on the web. According to VeryWellFit.com, Airborne First was developed by a teacher who wanted a natural way to fight the colds and flu that inevitably make their way around schools. Alexa, what was the very first cold medicine? Here's something I found on the web. According to NIH.gov, Echinacea for preventing and treating the common cold. She just won't. <laughs> she comes up with something different every time, but it's not what I'm asking, so I, I tried. Huh? Alexa, how many registered nurses are there in the world? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, there are approximately 2,824,641 RNs in the USA, but it's never enough. Well, that's not the whole world, but there's over there's almost 3 million of them in the United States. So I don't know why she does this sometimes. Alexa, how many hospital buildings are there in North America? Sorry, I don't know that one. No, well, that's the first one she said that to, so. I mean, different. Uh, oh, I see. I thought it said pigs. Alexa, how many different pies are known to mankind in the world? Here is what I found. Pie varieties include sweet pies and savory pies. <laughs> that's what she found. <laughs> Alexa. How many different kinds of pies are there in the world? Pie varieties include sweet pies and savory pies. <laughs> I don't want to know the varieties. I want to know how many different ones. Maybe I should just ask how many different. Alexa, how many different kinds of pies are there? Pie varieties include sweet pies and savory pies. Same thing. <laughs> okay, that's all we're going to get. Uh, what does this say? Oh, okay. Alexa, what is a poke bowl? Poke is a Hawaiian dish of raw seafood, usually chopped tuna, marinated with soy sauce, green onions, and sesame oil. It's often topped with dried seaweed and sesame seeds. Doesn't sound too bad, really. And... I think she just told where it originates from. That was the next question. She said Hawaii. So that answers where does this poke bowl originate from. And let's see if... Alexa, how many different poke bowl recipes are on the internet? Okay, for poke bowl, here's a few recipes from all recipes. Coconut poke cake. I said no poke bake bowl. energy bites. She's got poke. How to make trace leches cake. Cream cheese penguins. That's not even. She, she had ball. B-A-L-L. -L. Alexa, how many different poke bowl recipes are there? Okay, for poke bowl, here's a few recipes. Salmon poke oh, bowl. Okay. Watermelon poke bowl. Smoked salmon poke bowl. Ahi poke bowl. And lots more. Mm. One minute she says bowl or poke, and then she says pokey. <laughs> okay. Alexa, how many celebrities have their own YouTube channel? Here's something I found on the web. According to Hearst.com, Madonna has a channel, Jay-Z has a channel, Ashton Kutcher has a channel. Three? There's got to be more than that. Ashton Kutcher, huh? Madonna and Jay-Z. Okay. Alexa, what is the most expensive dish in the world? Here's something I found on the web. 
According to FinetanandGlovers.com, white caviar from Iranian beluga fish, Alma's caviar, is officially the most expensive food in the world, according to the Guinness World Records. Caviar. Mm, I don't know. I've never tried it. <clears throat> they say it's good, though. Let's see what that says. I can't. I hope I can pronounce that right. Okay, Alexa, what year did Peak Freein start up as a company? Sorry, I'm not sure. Alexa, who owns the company Peak Freein now? Sorry, I'm not sure. So she didn't know that one. Well, let's see if we can get her to tell us a joke. Alexa, tell me a joke. I'm thinking about sewing my jokes onto sweaters. I think people will really enjoy my knit wits. <laughs> Alexa, tell me a joke. Why did the school ban scissors? To keep students from cutting class. <laughs> Alexa, tell me a joke. Why did the dandelion quit dating? It kept getting blown off. <laughs> Alexa, knock, knock. Okay, here we go. Knock, knock. Who's there? Watson. Watson who? What's on second? Who's on first? All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's Ask My Tablet. Keep them questions coming in, and we'll do another one. And I appreciate everybody watching. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it so much. And I'll be seeing you in the morning at Morning Devotions. God bless.